Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 9.1 came out to the public today. So I thought I'd show you what's new or really if you've been following the beta updates, not a whole lot's new that you can see, but quite a few things under the hood. But the first thing they've improved is emojis. They now allow Unicode 7 and 8 support, which gives 150 or so new emojis. So let's go in and take a look. Inside here we've got, like I said, about 150 new ones, including well, all sorts of different things really. There's just a ton of different ones, and that should make a lot of people happy. I really don't use a whole lot of these, so it's not as easy for me to spot as it may be for you. But that's one of the major updates you'll actually be able to see. Now, aside from that, they've improved stability for CarPlay, Music, Photos, Safari, and Search. So that's a pretty big deal. That's that's uh, People have had those things crash and things like that. They've also improved the performance with multitasking. So if we go into this, we can just scroll through nicely. And it should be even faster on some of the older devices as well. So that should be improved. They've also improved Game Center. They've resolved some issues with zoomed-in content on some apps. Also some email fixes. Also removing recent contacts. They've also fixed an issue that caused messages not to appear in mail search results. They've resolved issues that left a gray bar in the body of an audio message, fixed an issue that caused activation errors on certain carriers, and also fixed an issue that prevented some apps from updating from the App Store. So all of those fixes are in 9.1. And also, if you're in the UK, you'll now get the Apple News app. So if you're in the UK, you'll have news available and that should be nice. Now, I don't find I use it a whole lot, but it's available for those that wanted it in the UK and didn't have it originally. It may be available in other countries, but let us know in the comments below if you have it on your phone after you update as well. Apple also released watchOS 2.0.1. It's about a 63 megabyte download, and it fixes a bunch of little issues with software updates and performance. So that should be nice as well if you have an Apple Watch, so you can download that. So that's pretty much it for iOS 9.1. There hasn't been a whole lot of other things I've been able to find in settings in battery or anything like that uh, certain people may see that uh, others may not but if you found something and i haven't mentioned it please let us know in the comments below if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and like as always thanks for watching this is aaron i'll see you next time